Hey people, this is the Pilgrim, and I'm going to take a 150 strong army of enforcers against a red supply drop. They're all level 600 as well, by the way. Just spawn them all in. The thing is, over here there was a, another supply drop that had come down, a blue one. Um, and they wiped everything out in minutes, so I had to sort of corral them and get them right across the map to this other drop that had come down. And yeah, herding them forces is fun. <laughs> it's not too bad actually. It, I mean, the pathfinding is cool. It's just like you get like your resource rocks, and um, metal nodes, whatever, um, and they get stuck on them really easy. So it's like flying around, shooting all them out, and then getting them to travel a bit further. Come to a cliff edge here, and they're starting to get spread out a bit thin. They're still following me quite a distance and they've got that um, blink effect as well so they sort of jump to you as you're moving along so to get them all off the edge of here look like a bunch of lemmings I left this bit in the video because that is definitely not something you see every day I mean when would you even find time to catch that many you'd have to kill that many build that many then get them all out here Jesus <laughs> so I get an idea of how many of the things there is and I got right up to the, the drop uh, just had to get them across this river and it was sort of done. I'm pretty sure I didn't lose any along the way so we still got 150 here. But it did take ages. Yeah, and they're like uh, attacking corrupted on the way. I did have them on passive for a bit but there was just tons of dinosaurs following us as well so. And here we go. And I was really happy it was a red drop as well, so I thought I could get a decent fight out of them. Mm, there's the shield going up. What I did, I just let all the, the corrupted attack the shield for a little bit till they broke it down, just to let them pile up, to see what happened. So I'd get an idea what direction they're all coming from. See that, they just attack everything, just blinking all over the place. And I was like, it's not going to be easy to sort of keep them all in check while the battle's going on. But I just changed some buttons, so I've got like, um, follow all, and then stop. On uh, a couple of buttons right next to my thumb, so I could just sort of do that as I was going around. So I didn't have to keep bringing the wheel up all the time. Uh, I skipped the next couple of um, waves because there was just barely anything there. A couple of canals and stuff, but now we start getting some proper... Like armies of dinos coming in. It's the waverings there, like the worst thing, because they, they do drop fire over them. And they don't really sort of jump up to attack them, so they have to come really low, sort of get in the middle of them all. But everything else, they just sort of dive on and all them little hits at once just wipes it out. Spinos, carnos. Rex, things kept focusing on me. I wish I'd filmed it, filmed it, and put um, ghost mode on or something. You know, so I could just like actually film the battle. But uh, I thought no, I, I didn't. I didn't think of that at the time. And these are tough, man. I, I, mean, I checked. I think they're like level 400 plus. Some of these uh, corrupted. I mean, my aim was awful there, but I did hit it a good few times. Usually, like the tech cannon on the tapper just wipes stuff out instantly. But this thing just didn't want to die. I was losing control of the uh, of the enforcers as well, so I sort of dragged them all back. I just take them out in seconds, and they're off after the dragons. And then that little there. Uh, time off I done. Just could not kill the little sod so I skipped it ahead a bit. Chasing me around for ages. This is the next big wave. Numbers are still looking good, I don't think I've lost any yet. Pterodon trying to kill me now. 
crap, man, I'm hitting it loads of times. I didn't even see any, like, uh, blood come up at or anything. Ended up flying down straight into the, the, the whole group of them and they, they wasted it for me. But look, check this out now. This is a huge wave coming in. And that there, I didn't even know they existed. I mean, I've seen the skin, but I didn't, I've not seen them actually in-game before. Because I think the skin was only out on console for a long time. For the, uh, Tektire set attacks. Tech trike. Look at that now. Look at all that coming in. This is where things started going pretty bad because the paracers and the wavings just started taking tons of damage on them. Look, see them just flying in and laying that fire down. I'm sorry I messed about this thing so bloody much. I was trying to stay alive and sort of get some good shots of the fighting as well, you know, trying to film it. Like I said, I should have put it on uh, ghost mode or uh, invisible to AI or something like that. I think we'll next time. Well, if this video goes down okay. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? I think to do something like this as a tribe, you're going to need some serious resources. Some really good dinos as well. You sort of see how crazy it gets. I'm trying to crawl all these guys back to the centre as well. Keep them in point. Drag this guy down into him and they just wasted him. Insta kill. see now as well though the numbers are starting to get whittled down a little bit that waver in there just got too long got wiped out to disappear get these guys back over to me to protect this so they have no trouble with, with like the ones that are close and each one's hitting it individually and doing so much damage but we are taking losses now, definitely. You can see all them bags on the left hand side there. That's where that dragon came down and the paracers were as well. So I think just a combination of that just took a lot of them out. We've dealt with this wave. Um, the only thing that's left there now is that little carnal. He's sort of attacking the supply drop, but I don't think anyone latched onto him because he's not hurt him. I just hit backspace and another numbers popped up. It's just just wanted to see what the damage was they were doing and things like that. And yeah, it glitched out a little bit. Just making art do maps. Not good. Can't get an exact count, but yeah, they're definitely getting low. And there's a little bit of music. That's the next wave coming. Yeah, I couldn't even count them things, not even now. Two on top of each other. There's a spinal glitch through the floor. Here they come. It's another massive wave, this. So you can keep them all... I mean, that's the thing. Uh, you see the waving come in then with the fire. Keeping them clumped up's a good idea because, like, they're taking stuff out really quick, but they're taking so much damage from them. And this is it, man. It, the waverings are just wiping them out. It's just too much for them. The paracers are doing like tons of AOE damage, and that was it, man. He just got killed. So I thought I'll I'll uh, I'll spawn in 80 more just to keep the video going. And I spawned them in and forgot to spawn them in tamed, and they all just stuck in a big clump there. And then everything decided to attack me. I killed the enforcers, and then it just glitched to hell, and I got thrown through the map. flying around underwater and yeah the game just sort of freaked out for a second I thought I can still do this I can still do it <coughs> you see the wavings coming in everything's still attacking me try to punch a raptor to death yeah it all went to shit and you can see all the fire flames coming in there that's it man game over but that was 150 level 600 enforcers and by that, what is it, 56 wave, they just had no chance. So uh, yeah, right, there you go guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, check out the rest of the channel and all that lot. And I'll catch you later, thanks for watching.